Now the second about bounce of the day. Takanosho takes on Shin Yokozuna Teruro Fuji. The history, well, three in a row for Teruro Fuji. Last time Takanosho won was in January, and that was very close at the edge. So recent history does favor Teruro Fuji, but Takanosho can often be hard to catch if he keeps moving. Teruro Fuji will try and stop that happening. He doesn't want constant movement from Takanosho. Thrusting attack. Takanosho gets taken back, then moves away. Moves away again, but now he's locked up by Terano Fuji, who smothers him at the edge, doesn't allow any lateral movement. And the Yokozuna wins by Yorikiri. So three straight wins for him. One and two, the Magashita one, Takanosho. Takanosho grabbing the elbow there. Must have got a little clamp down from Terano Fuji. Well, as I mentioned, Takanosho likes to keep moving. That's really his only chance. It comes chest to chest, Yotsuzumo. He's going to struggle against Terano Fuji. Starts reasonably well, gets a bit of good hand placement with the Nodawa and under the right armpit and then pivots away. Now he should have moved to the left here more, but he's covered by Terano Fuji and smothered. He locks up the arms. Doesn't allow any lateral movement by Takanosho and wins by Yorikiri. Well, there it is. Day three done and dusted. So Terano Fuji doing the Imitori bow twirling ceremony to end proceedings here on day three. Seven men are undefeated after three days. Come back and join us tomorrow for more Grand Sumo highlights.